Well, today is going to be a lot of fun. This car is about to get a complete makeover. Who the hell? Oh, man. I need to get that rag. I need to get a rag and wipe that off real quick. Ew. 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 There we go. So, anyways, today we've got some boxes from Texas Speed that we're going to be doing on the truck here later on, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We are going to worry about those, what's in these packages right here. We've got, you know what? It's probably just going to be easier. Let me switch cameras. Set all the instructions. We don't need that. Let me pull these babies out right here. Now, I've seen a lot of people make this work. Can we make it work? Probably so. It's not supposed to happen, but it can. These are Jeep Wrangler headlights off of eBay, which is my favorite source for car parts. And these are going to go on Meep today. So check these things out. Ooh. Apparently these things are insanely bright, which is good because we need to keep this car somewhat street legal. So we've got an adapter harness right here. I'm not sure if it works on the Miata stuff or if we'll have to splice it in, but either way, we've got everything to make it work. Headlights in the first box. This is what I think I'm most excited about because this is really, really cool stuff here. These are the new turn signals for the Miata, which this one goes on the other side. That's the driver's side. This is the passenger side. Check this out. So this goes in here like so. As you're driving, it's shoving air in there. And then also we've got this LED turn signal that goes inside of there as well which is just going to wrap up the look of the front of the car especially with the intercooler in there it should look really good normally these are supposed to be painted but um it's meat so we're probably not even going to paint them we're just going to leave them in there unpainted for now if we want to paint them in the future we can do that now that he got those screws out of the way these little plastic covers pop out of the way real nice and easy and then once those are out of the way you've got pretty much all accessibility to be able to access this nice little headlight here. So anyways, this is a pretty plain and simple process for these. I'm not sure if these are gonna bolt directly back up, but they should. So we're gonna be able to remove one, two, three screws out of here, along with this spring up here at the top. This whole entire ring should come off. We replace this bulb, and we should be able to put it all back together. Pretty nice and simple. Two screws out. There we go. Oh, what? That is freaking cool. What? Plug and play? That is crazy. Okay, turn that off so I don't get blinded real quick. <laughs> Whenever you say it's gonna look good, I just listen from now on. UPS? Yeah, Brown Santa Claus, what's up? How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. All right, there, there you go. go. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. You too, bro. In the video, I was joking around and I was like, hey, hey, whenever y'all send this back, send it in a new box, because our box was torn up. They sent it in a new box. Yeah, check that out. So we got the converter back from Circle D. They probably just sent a whole new one. That'd be great, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, look at that. We got a pin. We got another koozie. We got new hardware with Loctite. Ooh. Oh, we got the stickers, torque specs, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup, they sent a whole new converter to us. This is a 4L80 Pro Series Stage 3 258mm 2DX. I guess they just sent a whole new one. Sweet. I'll need to call them then and see if that was the problem or if we need to get the transmission service too or if we can just put it all back together and roll. Either way though, Circle D. Thank you guys so much. We'll leave all that right there for right now. We're gonna finish working on this headlight. Okay guys, there we have it. One side, we've got our new Jeep LED headlight in. It looks freaking fantastic too, I'm not gonna lie. And it's plug and play, which is really cool. On this side, we've got the stock halogen bulb. That is really terrible and ugly. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. All right, now that that one's in, oops. Now that that one is in, we're gonna go ahead and install the driver's side one and I'll be right back. All right. Do you hear that? Yeah, that was your song. No, -uh. that's the first time that has ever happened. That's weird as hell. We're literally just sitting here working on the Miata and all of a sudden my song comes on. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I make music now. <laughs> so you can click uh, up above right now and you can go check out our second channel that we have. Anyways, we're gonna wire in our turn signals. We're gonna do this the wrong way. So we're gonna turn our hazards on. We're gonna see the black to black. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try. So white goes to black, black goes to green. White to black, black to green. Then feed this through first. Come on, get in there. Right now we're just trying to get these screws to go in our new bumper. They've got to kind of self tap their way in there. There we go. We got one down. We're gonna install the second one, get it all wired up, and uh, then we'll show you guys what it looks like. That looks sick. Let me turn on the headlights real quick. 
Oh yeah. Meep's got the biggest glow up of 2019. Dude, this thing looks sick. That was definitely a good call, by the way. We were sitting here the other day and Harry was like, she gets some of those little headlights from the Jeep. So I went and looked at them on eBay or whatever. Picked some out and I was like, what about these? And he was like, yep, get them. And needless to say, they came in and they look freaking fantastic. Even with the headlights down, the car looks so much better now. It's just nice to have those turn signals put in place with the little vents. Just It makes the whole front end look whole. You don't see like rusted metal <laughs> underneath there anymore. Meep looks like a miniature RX-7. You guys have a Miata, literally just go on eBay. You can find all this stuff for super cheap on eBay. It's not expensive at all and definitely worth it. As you guys see, literally under $200 and the whole entire car looks completely different. So that's pretty sweet. And we've got another sticker for the Trooper hood. For those of you that are new to the channel and don't know what this hood is from, feel free to click the link above right now and go check this out. We actually burnt down this car on accident. That was actually one of the first times that Harry was ever really in videos a lot. <laughs> and uh, the first time that he really came up here, we burnt down the car so that was a lot of fun we went to take it on a test drive and whenever we took it on a test drive the car literally just kind of caught fire and burnt down so so now that the miata stuff is done and the miata looks freaking fantastic we're gonna move on to our next stuff for today we got some packages in from texas speed and performance the race truck has a texas speed camshaft in it at some point once we destroy that stock engine that's in the truck we're gonna eventually move on to hopefully a texas uh speed short block maybe a long block i don't know anyways that's for a much later date so today we're gonna be working with this stuff here i haven't even gotten to really look at this i opened it up just to make sure the package wasn't really damaged because if you see right here it got hit by ups somehow so i got some spark plug heat sleeves right here they get to where they pretty much touch the headers and it'll melt the plug wires which is a bad problem to have garrett actually cleans mcfarland has had a lot of problems with that too so those help out a ton so this is our new texas speed headers for the truck i'm sure that you've heard me talking about it before but the headers that are on the truck right now are really bad everything is welded together so we have to cut it re-weld it and it, that, i just after having to drop the transmission the second time I was done with it. So we went, reached out to Texas Speed. They helped us out on these set of headers right here. So that will completely eliminate our problems right there. Now, instead of having to worry about welding and cutting and everything else, we've just got slip on flanges. Uh, but obviously these are just the headers. So in this next box, we've got our Y pipe. Dude, the welds on here are really nice too. All stainless steel, really lightweight stuff too. I mean, like you can absolutely feel the weight difference right there it's seriously light these are all just band clamps now so i'm not even sure if this is exactly how it goes but you slip it over like that you would tighten up your band clamp right here put your o2 sensor in and you're done thank you guys at texas speed so much for this seriously i'm excited to have some actual proper headers instead of just cheap i don't even know what brand those are but they're really really bad but um this pipe goes under the transmission like so and then you've got a driver's side header over there but what was happening is whenever we had to pull the transmission we were having to cut this pipe completely out of the way just to be able to get it the transmission down and everything. We've got our little Meep sticker. You can either put it like right here or you can put it right here. The guy actually sent this into the fan mailbox a few days ago. I always forget to say that we actually have one of those, but uh, if you guys want to send stuff over, you can send it to P.O. Box 13173, Rustin, LA, 7127, no wait, 71273. I try to every now and then go check it. I always forget though. Oh no, it's not sticking. Redemption or no? Oh, come on, man. We're just gonna leave it like that. Boom, little meat. Anyways, we're gonna lift the truck up now. Harry got the headers loose that come on, that came on this truck. Yep, they're ready to get taken off. So we can go ahead and lift this thing up in the air and slip them out through the bottom. These are the worst, most ugly plug wires ever. I'm gonna get some new plug wires so bad. Da, 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 Oh, nice. This bitch is leaking oil everywhere. Where is it coming from? It's not coming from the rear main. Oh, from the drain plug? Oh. Whenever you pulled the headers out, I bet you just pulled the dipstick out a little bit because it looks like it's driven from up there, too. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get this header wiggled down here. This isn't quite as easy as my Corvettes was to get out. Oh yeah, this one's about to slide out like sauce. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one's real easy. That driver's side one though, boy. Woo. I don't even know if this is a bong. It looks like they just literally welded the O2 sensor in there. There's no way somebody's that stupid. Nope, okay. Second O2 sensor is out. Oh. You don't I know, I just broke that so bad. Oh, that's good. What? You just bent the How did you have this thing in here? Oh, really? <laughs> you all know passenger side ones so are into this mm. 
Mm. Oh. There we go. Uh oh, you know what I just thought of? We don't have a bong for the wide band on those new Texas Speed stuff. Uh oh, I made a little bit of money. Let me try and see if I can gently. <laughs> oh yeah. Harry, how did you get this thing out of here? Carefully. Yep. Very, very carefully. Very carefully. You gotta push the engine off. Ah. Oh. Mm. I forgot. Hang on, I can't put this in yet. Got a weld a wide band bone one here. My question is, do you need that many O2s? This is the O2. This is just the wide band for the gauge inside of there. I don't even need this wide band anymore because we got the Holly EFI stuff, huh? Right. We'll save that wide band though for a different car. Here, come see. Is this how you did it? Yeah, that's what I did. I just pushed that engine all the way up. Push it up real quick. Let me just see if I can, I can slide it in there. Nope. Most of the time. <laughs> Can fight that motherfucker. All right, then let me try it from the bottom again, cause I we almost had. I think I can get it. Harry, come see. Look, I think I can get it. Yeah, look. I think if you pick it up right now. Harder, harder, harder. There you go. Yeah. Now slide it around. All right, let me put. Let me rest real fast. Uh, okay. Whew. What are you doing? Just picking straight up? Yeah, just right on there. It doesn't matter. There we go. Right yep, it's in. Yeah. Ah, they look a lot nicer. They look a whole lot nicer under here. Hell yeah. We got the driver's side end. Now we need to slide the passenger side up into place. Got our two new gaskets right here. Harry's gonna hop up there and tighten them up real quick. And we'll be pretty much ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six more. Hey, be careful with that last bolt oh, back like there. I felt it already, yeah. Yep, that header bolt is completely fucked in the back. It's not torqued or anything. Yeah, I just tightened down the majority of them. Down. Yeah, we're just gonna have to cut that bolt in half. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I think somebody broke off a bolt in there. Oh, really? On both sides of the back. That's hey, LS shit. Well, had this. We're looking at a lot of problems because whoever had this truck before just broke bolts off everywhere. So two of the bolts on this side won't thread all the way down because we've got studs lodged in the heads. The surprise that I was going to tell you guys about is that Harry started the other day installing the Holly stuff. So we've got the Holly high ram on here. We've got the uh, NOS plate right here. It doesn't. It's not in each runner, but it sprays down each plate. runner somewhat. It's like a perimeter plate mixed with a fogger setup. Yeah. Yeah. It's a perimeter fogger setup plate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's one of those. Hey. It's a direct perimeter plate. Hey. Anyways, though, that's all on there. Harry also went ahead and yanked out the entire, hang on, let me just hop down and show you because it's going to be hard to even explain. Ugh. This is all the wire harness that came out of the truck, the stock harness. That is all completely yanked out of the truck. And uh, we're waiting on a few more harnesses to come in for the Holly stuff. And once that all comes in, we're going to be able to install the new harness along with the Holly EFI ECU into the truck. So now what we're going to have to do is come back here and probably have to fab up some kind of some kind of something with some exhaust. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. We got a Y pipe that comes from these two headers down to one single pipe. But the problem is, is that our exhaust that goes into the muffler here has two pipes. So we're probably gonna have to get another Y pipe to butt up to the first Y pipe. You know what I would do? What? Cut all this junk off and just straight pipe. Straight pipe? Straight, yep. What's this straight pipe? <laughs> uh, Hell no. Hey, Poe. This yeah. muffler sounds so good though. Just think of the weight savings you will save if you get rid of that big magna flow. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I mean, we got plenty of time. All right, now that we got the headers and all installed down here, we're gonna lower the truck down. That way we can get the oil dipstick in and everything like that. And then we're gonna be finished up on this thing for the day. These are some new fancy dancy. Oh yeah, yeah. High temp spark plug wire protector boots. I don't want to know if these are fiberglass or not, cause they're not. they're not. No, they're not fiberglass. What are they? They probably got some fiberglass in them. Oh no, these are fiberglass, my dog. But they're not like hard fiberglass. Those are straight yeah, fiberglass, my dog. <laughs> I even rub like my back and scratch my eye one time. Don't do that. Don't cut your eye. It's bad. It feels like a razor blade in your eyeball. I mean, I could imagine so, yeah. We built like a bobber before I had any place to work on anything. We built it in the living room of our first little ghetto apartment that we lived in. Yeah. And um, we uh, had fiberglass header wrap. I it's the same shit. didn't know what it was. I barehandedly just grabbed that stuff out of there and did I regret it? If you get it wet, it's a lot better, but it still gets all over you. We got, try not to burn our plug wires. What you doing? Flame proof, bro. Yeah, they say that. They catch on fire. Oh, they'll catch on fire. Ba, 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 ba. That good? It's good for a beginner. <laughs> what you want from Sonic? Uh, uh. I mean, unless you're trying to get like $25 on the <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, ocean water. An ocean water. You want something? 
Yeah, I think I shouldn't have pulled it down so far because now it's stuck right here. It looks like a little. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. <laughs> what do you want, ocean water too? I'm sure. I look at him all fancy with his gold. <gasps> no! God, <but> <laughs> Well, he did we get in new plug wires. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just yeah. like that. I knew we wanted some new ones. <laughs> Do yeah, these things are old and destroyed. All right. Well, that's going to be a. <laughs> that might have been the problem why it was running like booty, too. That could be. <laughs> that would make a whole lot of sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> why does it feel like my truck has half the power? <laughs> Look at this. It was only running on half the engine. <laughs> Oh, that one actually came out right, but those broke. All right, we're just gonna shove all these back in this bag. Unfortunately, <laughs> it looks like we're gonna have to be getting new plug wires. So Harry went ahead and put some new spark plugs in here. Mm. The actual, the plugs that came out didn't look terrible either. Uh, I was kind of, for some reason, expecting the nitrous to have melted the plugs. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. But we were only spraying a tier 175 shot, and this yeah. is perfect for a TR6. That's good. Not for that kit. Yeah, this kit right here is gonna be different. But it doesn't need those TR6s that we put in there, but those, they'll be fine for now. Just stick it on the shelf with all the bolts. I'm gonna throw all the truck stuff that we're still... Oh, look, here's all the spark plugs, too. Dude, they really don't look bad. The coloration is burning perfect, oh yeah. They got a little bit of oil on them, but that's no problem. <laughs> okay, so I guess that is probably going to be a wrap. We can't really do too much. We <laughs> are definitely gonna need to get some new plug wires. This truck is going under the largest surgery that any vehicle in this shop has seen so far. Well, really on the channel period. So we've got the high rise getting installed, like I said, the NOS kit right here getting installed. The Holly EFI system with the new harnesses and everything is gonna be going in very soon we just got the new texas speed headers put in we're gonna have to get new uh, plug wires after we get that though everything is gonna be ready to get wrapped up hopefully and get this thing tuned after we get the nitrous kit put on uh, we're waiting on a few more things for this we're gonna have to get a new throttle body because this one is enormous like you can literally fit a closed fist inside of there it is giant this thing is going to flow the most air and then we're gonna have to get some new injectors for this probably get a whole fuel system for the truck while we're in the middle of doing all of this stuff too unfortunately being that I told you guys this is not going to be much of a street truck this is literally going to be the uh, the race truck to a very very serious definition um, yeah we're taking out all the AC system we're taking out the power steering oh, we need the alternator <laughs> we're taking out the AC the power steering pretty much everything yeah we're gonna put a manual rack in here um, we're deleting the entire factory harness off of here to replace it with the Holly system so this truck is gonna be quite the character after it's done it's gonna be pretty scary I can't lie to you I told you guys a long time ago when we first started this that I was gonna have the goal of making this truck faster than the mustang is as you guys saw if you missed that video the mustang ran a 971 in the quarter mile which was the fastest time that i've ever ran and i ran it just the other night so Click up above and check out that video too. You can cl click that card. It was a really, really cool night. But anyways, after we get done with this, I'm honestly expecting it to run probably below 11s, high 10s with the setup that we're gonna have on it, um, especially with the new stall converter that we just got in from Circle D. And uh, we're gonna get the transmission all fixed up and everything. And we got good suspension coming and all, I mean, just seriously tons of stuff for it. So hopefully this truck is gonna be like a 10 second truck. And then we're gonna step it up slowly, but surely from there, kind of push the limits a little bit in a truck and see what we can do. If we can get it down to anywhere in the nines, a nine Nine second work truck like this. This started its life as a work truck. If this thing <laughs> could actually touch nines, that would be absolutely insane. So that is the plans for this thing. But anyways, guys, we've got quite a bit of a mess and stuff to finish picking up. And we've got a little bit more things that we're gonna be doing off camera today. I cannot wait to show you guys. We've got a few surprises coming, but make sure you guys go give Texas Speed a shout and go check them out. Um, I'll go ahead and link their website down in the description below. You can get some headers just like these. They look fantastic in here. Texas Speed makes tons of products. They make entire engines as well and they are one of the best ls engine builders around so uh any ls parts any oh, there's tons of stuff that you can i mean just like i said go check it out texas speed makes all kinds of good quality products so anyways guys that is a wrap thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time